<laughs> Greetings and salutations, everyone. Whatever. Oh, guys, does it ever freaking end? Houston, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. So, here again. Just like my video I put out the other day, when you think you know it all, as a YouTube creator, we're constantly learning and searching for new ways ourselves, trying to bring truth and education to the viewers who tune into our channels. Now, once again, another viewer made a comment on the last video and said, uh, hey, aren't you uh, kind of concerned about your U-bolts? Shouldn't they be a little bit longer? And I'm thinking to myself, okay, I don't have a lot of experience with this whole independent suspension thing. So I was willing to put the kit in myself. And again, Dustin Simpson over at California RV Specialists, who installs these exa the exact same Roadmaster with Slipper Springs suspension that I have. I've consulted him numerous times on this and many other issues that I've had in the past. I took some pictures and I'm like, hey, uh, Dustin. Uh, need your advice again. Guess what? It's me, Greg Carson, your other brother. Do these U-bolts uh, not look right? And ding dong, he's like, uh, Greg, we talked about this a couple weeks ago. I told you, make sure that they put the right U-bolts back in. They don't recommend reusing U-bolts, and he told me why. So, sure as S-H-I-T smells like poop, let me crawl underneath here and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. All right, you guys, I'm under the camper. Ugh, holy freaking moly. So look at this. Here's my U-bolts that they reinstalled. And look it. There should be threads sticking up from the nut at least an inch to be sure. No matter how you torque these down, your suspension's going to move and tweak and creak and bang and move and tweak and creak and bang. And those lug bolt or those U bolts are going to have a lot of pressure on them going up and down, bouncing around, making turns, twisting, etc. And this is from the dealership I took it to to be installed. Now, you saw yesterday. I had to reinstall the shock absorbers because they mounted them on the wrong freaking side of the bracket. Dustin helped me out there. Now I got to effing deal with this, you guys. It never ends. You guys, I don't want to do it. 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 But I'm gonna. Oak Lake RV in Moose Lake, Minnesota. Or, yeah. Why? Guys, I know you watch my videos. You even commented on two videos ago saying thank you for letting us do this. <sighs> I paid you $1,043 to install this correctly because you're the professionals. Just like people pay me certain amounts of money, sometimes very large sums of money, sometimes not, to work on their house because they trust us. We've got a five-star Google rating for a reason. People give us their trust and they pay us a sum of money in order to put new windows in their house or put a roof on their house or build a house or build an addition for them or put up a garage or whatever it may be. They put their trust in us to do it right. It's so freaking hard nowadays, it seems like, to find good help, people that know what they're doing. You know, this is an RV shop. They have a very big service shop. They do this kind of stuff. Why is it? Do what I do. Watch YouTube. Go to the manufacturer's freaking YouTube channel and watch one of their trained people install the product. Uh, had I had time to install this kit, I would have gladly done it myself. I would have enlisted Dustin Simpson at California RV Specialists. I already watched uh, a plethora of videos from Roadmaster on eTrailer.com, putting in this product. So you guys, here again, man. When you're an RVer, 
or anything, but especially an RVer, like Tom at Enjoy the Journey said, when you find problems with your RV, just stop looking. Well, a lot of truth in that statement, but we all know as an RV owner, you have to keep looking and you have to keep looking and you have to stay diligent and then you have to keep looking some more because if you don't, that one thing is going to jump up and bite you right in the keister. You don't want that. Come on, man. No, no good. So Oak Lake RV up in Moose Lake, Minnesota, I'm sorely disappointed. I know we talked on Monday and you said, well, I should bring it on back and drop it off. We'll take care of the shocks and all that kind of stuff. Should have been done right the first freaking time. I see this all the time in my industry, guys, when I have people call me and say, hey, we should have hired you. Your bid was the middle. There was low, middle, high. You were right in the middle. We went with the lowest one. We kicked them off. Would you come out and fix what they did? No. Shouldn't be that way. We shouldn't have to clean up other people's mess when we pay them good money to do this kind of stuff. So here again, guys, maybe I'm just rambling. Yeah, I'm disappointed, a little bit flustered and frustrated at the moment. I am F it, man. I'm just gonna fix it myself because I know I'll do it right the first time. So I'm just gonna go pick up my 9 16 by seven inch by three inch U-bolts and take care of it myself and do it the right way. And yeah, I'll probably call up Oak Lake RV and give them a piece of my mind that I found yet another flub and boo-boo that you did. So do your diligence, you guys. As always, I appreciate you watching and coming back to the channel. As promised, we're on our way to Shell Lake, Wisconsin tomorrow, and we're going to uh, film our adventures with some other side-by-sides. I want to show everybody that there's a different side of RV life, all right? It's not just towing this thing around the country and then staying in it for a week at a certain spot and hooking up and then going to another place. RVing is all about the adventure. It's about the fun. It's not the destination, it's the journey. Just like Harley Davidson motorcycles. That's right. So we're gonna take you on those adventures. As always, you guys, I appreciate you being here. Um, if you feel inclined to do so, smash that like and subscribe button. We got some fun stuff and some other very informative video. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. I got a gentleman up in Duluth, Minnesota who hit me up, I'm not going to mention his name, he has agreed to not do a face-to-face, -face, but a phone recorded conversation. This gentleman is a professional RV transporter, and he has got some things that he wants to talk about that he sees on these rigs when he tows them from the factories down in Indiana to the dealerships all over the country. Uh, According to him, you wouldn't believe the kind of shit <laughs> that he sees when he hauls these things down the road that have to get fixed many times when they get to the dealership. Going to be a very interesting phone call with that gentleman. It's a, it's a going to be a conversation about quality right from the get-go from the factories and the things that he has to deal with as a transporter and have to get fixed sometimes on the road before he can even get your brand new rig to the dealership where you're supposed to be getting a brand new rig with no problems. Yeah, well, it doesn't always work that way. Knock, knock, pudding head. That's right, you guys. So anyway, I gotta get my butt going. We're gonna get this thing ready to get to Shell Lake, Wisconsin so we can do our trip and go side-by-side -side riding for fall colors with a group of people that are RVers. So we're gonna take you on that journey, you guys. Smash that like and subscribe button, would you? That would be cool. Thanks, you guys, for being here. We'll see you soon, bye.